If you've been curious about the brand Commence, this video is for you. Commence Haul and Try On. I'm sure many of you have seen comments all over your social media and or worn by creators that you follow. I'm in the same boat. I saw it on my social media first and foremost. I was curious about it but never made a purchase because I wasn't sure about the fit and quality for the longest time. However, I've always wondered about this brand because they do have really, really cute styles. And if you're in the same boat, hopefully this video will give you some insight and help you make a decision on whether or not to start purchasing from Commence. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gigi and this is Styled by Glam. This channel shares a series of fashion and trend style videos like this one today, but I also pivot over to travel vlogs as well as lifestyle everyday vlogs, sharing my everyday life and navigating through life in my 40s. If you enjoy these type of content, I do hope you will join me here on my channel. In today's video, we will do a haul plus try on so you can see firsthand of the fit and quality of these seven styles behind me. All these are currently available on commence. So as per usual, I'll make sure to link everything below. And speaking of OOTDs, I also post daily outfit ideas on my socials, Instagram and TikTok, along with beauty tips as well as skincare tips. If you're into bite size, easy to digest, tips and content. I hope you will join me over there as well. And if you do, don't be shy, drop by and say hi. And now without further ado, let's get into the haul and try on. Starting with a casual look, this skirt here is from Commence. It's a maxi satin style skirt. It fits really nicely. I love the little like mermaid shape at the very end. It is a little bit long for me right now. I do probably need to bring it in and shorten it by maybe an inch or two inch. I do like it kind of dragging on the floor. I think that makes the look really cute. It needs to glide on the floor a little bit. I know it's not the most sanitary, but I do think it elevates the look a little bit more when the length is just almost right. And where your shoes can just peep out a little bit. I wore it with these black color booties. Very easy, very comfortable. It's a great look that you can wear day and night. For fall and winter, you can easily add on a jacket and you'll be good to go. Another more casual look. Lately, I've been so into these type of maxi dresses. This one in particular, the fabric itself is linen, so it definitely leans more into the summer end. However, because I live in LA, most of the time it does stay pretty warm, and even in fall, winter, this dress would still work for me. I just probably need to add on a jacket. But don't get discouraged. It's a beautiful dress. I love the fit. I think it's a beautiful silhouette and you can easily wear this next spring summer i can totally imagine wearing this when i'm traveling through europe it's a comfy dress that you can walk around in this dress actually comes with pockets a great daytime option i styled it with some kitten heels for a more nighttime dressier vibe however if it's during the day you can easily wear this with a pair of sandals or even sneakers for a comfy daytime combo continue on with dresses i do have to say overall i think i prefer their dress styles and so far they haven't failed me this one in particular again kind of resembles that silhouette with the drop waist and a little bit more on the poofier end on the bottom. This dress in particular compared to the black one is definitely more on the dressier end. It does come with a belt but here I switched it out with my own belt. I use the Dior belt that I have. I just think it adds to the look and it really kind of accentuates back to the bag that I have as well. Again this dress is more leaning on the summer end because it's so hot here in LA. I can't see myself wearing this probably right into 
to even October on the East Coast, this definitely probably would be will most likely be a summer dress for you. But I don't think the silhouette will go out of style next spring summer, so it doesn't hurt to get it. Taking a break from dresses, we have this two-piece vest set i am so in love with the set the fit is amazing it hugs all the right places pants the fit is really good too it is slightly a little long for me right now i do have to bring that in to alter but that's my height issue it's not the fit issue and overall i love this look i could see myself wearing this even layering a maxi coat for the winter time for a more dressier combo it will be great even for the office another great thing about two-piece set is you can break it apart and wear it with other items vest itself it'll look great with denim and the pants fit looks really nice i can see maybe a shirt a button-down shirt with it or even the blazer with a more of a contrast color or even monochromatic would be a great combo to wear moving on to a more dressier combo I feel like this is one of the dresses that you would see a lot from comments on social media and I've always really liked it and was curious about it and I finally got my hands on it and I have to say it fits so nicely. It's very snug though so I do have to put out a fair warning. If you're in between sizes, I would say to size up because it fits almost like just right. The fabric itself is stretchy, however, there's no zipper so if you buy too small it probably be a little bit of a struggle to get in i'm pretty true to my size and measurements so i was able to get in this with no issue again if you're in between sizes highly recommend sizing up on this one for fall and winter this dress will be a great layering piece too i can see myself wearing a more masculine fit jacket over this and do a mixed medium combo it will be a great look for the winter season as well now this dress i actually wore in vegas this was in my last vlog when i was there with my husband for his birthday and i wore this for one of the dinner i loved this dress it was so pretty got a lot of compliments on this the silhouette is so simple and chic but it's just the perfect drop waist dress again it has that drop waist with a little bit of a flare on the bottom that type of silhouette but this one in comparison to the black one the other white one i think this is definitely more on a minimal scale the white one has a lot more going on it has the waist lower waistline cut here and you also have the belt the black one is definitely more daytime sundress vibe this is just classic chic timeless and i can see myself wearing this dress over and over again and this is the last look the last dress this dress i have to say is a little bit out of my comfort zone even though in some ways it's very similar to the black sundress because it is off shoulder strapless but pleated skirt that's not usually the style i'll go for but i really like the mixed medium here and with a little bit of that drop waist look i think it helps elongate my figure and kind of adds to the look and make it workable for me this look in particular i do think it's a little bit dressier but more dressier in the side of wearing it to work or something more on the professional and I can even see myself layering on a blazer if I need to dress it even more for work or even something more formal. Right now, I am just styling it with a crossbody bag and some sunnies for a daytime easy look that I can wear into work. For shoes, I am wearing my Chanel sling bags. I think this is so classic and chic and it goes really well with this dress. And that was the haul and try on. Now that you've seen several styles from them, what do you think? Do you think you'll be purchasing from them? On my end, I have become a fan. I've purchased several dresses from them and 
every time I wear them, I get so many compliments. Quality, I have to say, it's equivalent to H&M and Zara. Obviously more on the fast fashion end, but again, their pricing is so much more budget friendly and with all the expenses we have these days, I don't think having a more budget friendly option would hurt my options. Also, I always believed style is not about the cost, it's about how you put it together. Thank you once again for joining me. If you're here up until now and you haven't already, if you could give this video a like, thumbs up, it would really help me out. Once again, my name is Gigi, this is Style by Glam, and I hope to see you guys on the next video.